How does your team look this year? Really good. Um, better than we've ever looked. I try not to get too excited before the first meet. I'm really bad at it because I get really excited. <laughs> but, um, I mean, our guys are going to be leaps and bounds better than, than they've been in the past. And our girls are a ton better, too. Um, I haven't seen what everybody else in the conference looks like yet, but I know we look good. You said that the men look like they're going to be just far and above what they usually are. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone specific you attribute that to? Um, probably Jordan. Uh, he's Our men have had a rough go at it the past couple of years, but him and Chase and Zach have really you know, stuck with it and stuck it out even when we didn't have barely enough guys to make a team. Um, and now we have six freshmen that are really good and willing to come in and contribute, but without Jordan and Chase and Zach, you know, sticking with it the last couple of years, then that wouldn't be the case. I think Jordan hosts like every recruit that we have here, so he's like our number one recruiter. Cross country not really being a great spectator sport. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, where they run and you know, how a meet goes? Um, we usually either run in, on soccer fields or golf courses, sometimes parks. It's always on the grass. Um, some courses are really, really flat, like the soccer field courses, and some are really, really hilly and tough. We go to Vanderbilt this year, and um, that's at a park that's really, really hilly. Uh, it's so I guess that's the beauty of cross country. You never know what you're going to get until you get there, and you just got to stick with it and be tough. But that's also kind of why times don't matter as much in cross country. It's just about racing in place. One last question, Coach. Uh, being a cross country team, and you really can't punish them by making them run because they're all here to run anyway. What really can you do to like to motivate them if they're kind of lagging behind? Tire flips. We have a 250 pound tire that the throwers use and flip around. So if you're gonna if you're gonna punish a cross country runner, do something that'll destroy their upper body, and tire flips is really good at that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. And what what's the longest distance you've run while you've been here at Murray State? About 12 miles. 12 miles, and how long did that take you to run? Hour 45 minutes. Why did you choose cross country? Um, I chose cross country, well, I was forced in high school, but now I love it, so I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and what was the, what's the longest distance you've ever run here? Um, between probably 14 miles, I think, 13, 14. And how long did that take you to run? Over an hour 40. What made you choose to run cross country here at Murray State? Um, I love running and it was a great opportunity just to, I walked on and then love the coaches, love everything about it, so it's been fun. You said you loved running. What about running do you love? Um, for me it's just a way of just getting out and relaxing, um, you know, wake up 6 in the morning practice, clear your head, go straight into classes, you're already awake, attentive, helps out for me.